Hi, my name is uh, Sanj Kakar. I'm consultant hand and wrist surgeon here at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And today we'll be talking about uh, wrist ligament injuries. So what are these? Well, if you look at your wrist, it's, a, it's an amazing structure. It allows you to move your wrist back and forth, side to side, and it allows you to twist. And what allows that is that there are eight bones in the wrist, and these are all tightly uh, constrained together like a fine circle. And they're all joined together by these ligaments, which basically join, uh, these are soft tissues that join uh, bones to bones. And so when one moves, all these bones move as in a concerted effort, such that if one of these ligaments are injured, suddenly that circle of bones is disrupted and it splits open. You can imagine, for example, a pretzel. A pretzel is a nice circle, and suddenly if that pretzel is broken in one area, that whole circle is disrupted. One of the most common uh, wrist ligament injuries is called the scapholunate ligament. And that basically means a ligament that joins two bones in the wrist called the scaphoid and the lunate. And that sits right about here in the wrist. Commonly, it happens from patients when they've tripped and fall. They've landed on their wrist. They have pain and swelling, and it's a big bruise. And most of us, when we fall, we get better within a, a day or two or a week maximum. But these patients, when they've injured this ligament, they realize that, you know what? I'm actually having a lot of pain in this wrist, and it's not going away. It's taken a month, six weeks, for example. Those are the injuries that you should not ignore, because one of the concerns is that if you ignore it, those bones which were initially tightly constrained, remember we talked about the pretzel, suddenly are moving in an abnormal position. And over years, what can happen is that you can have arthritis in the wrist, and that eventually leads to pain, stiffness and deformity. I see a lot of patients who come and see me where the x-rays show arthritis in the wrist and you speak to them and they say, yeah, doc, you know, 15 years ago I was playing football and I landed on my wrist and I thought it would get better and eventually it did, but I always did have pain I, and I just ignored it. Well, that was that ligament being injured many years ago and if, because it was ignored, they had arthritis. In terms of the diagnosis, uh, you can simply diagnose this on yourself. If you uh, push your wrist down, just in this area here, if you press and you're having pain, that's over that scaphalunate ligament injury. And it's uh, very specific in terms of the exam. And if you see a hand surgeon, it can be diagnosed on physical exam alone. To help with this, we get x-rays that sometimes show if the bones are close together or if they're spaced away. Or we get an MRI scan that can help. Sometimes the MRI, however, is not particularly accurate in diagnosing this, so to help this, we may do an arthroscopy where we place a small little camera in the back of the wrist to diagnose the ligament injury. In terms of the treatment, if this happened acutely, for example, if it happened yesterday, uh, when patients are seen, depending on if the bones are separated or not, if they're still close together and it's, for example, a partial tear, these can be treated in a cast for about six weeks, but the patients are followed to see if indeed the ligament is healed. If it's not healed or if the bones are separated early, we can go in and we can repair the ligaments. And really, that's the best time that we can repair those. Because if we wait, for example, six months to a year, the quality of that ligament has degenerated such that one can't do a primary repair. And so then we need to do a reconstruction. When we're talking about reconstructions, there's many different procedures. We can use local tissues on the back of the wrist to try and imbricate those bones together and temporarily hold them with either pins or screws. Or we can use other tendons in the, in the wrist. We can borrow them. We routinely use that in hand surgery to reconstruct the ligament. So I think uh, if you do fall and you injure your wrist and it's not getting better within a short period of time, it's not something to ignore. I see it daily in my clinical practice of patients who have had this. And sometimes, unfortunately, they've ignored it and they've gone on to arthritis and they've needed other major surgeries to take care of something that could readily, easily have been taken care of if indeed they'd seen a hand surgeon uh, after this had happened.